In this video, we're going to discuss and demonstrate counter strain for the lumbar spine, specifically the anterior lumbar points, which are located on the anterior pelvis. Anterior lumbar point one, we can find just medial to the ASIS. So starting from the ASIS, we move medial, and then we would press lateral. For AL2, we would move inferiorly from the ASIS to the AIIS. And then we would go to the medial aspect of that and push laterally for AL2. We would move lateral to the AIIS for AL3 and push medially. Then we would come inferior to the AIIS and push superiorly to get to AL4. Then for AL5, we will come medial with our thumbs and then slowly move inferiorly until we rest on top of the pubic tubercle. And then press and evaluate for tenderness. Were any of those tender? Any of those different uh, yes. points? Yes, AL1. So the first one here, on which side? On the left side. On the left. And any of the other ones? AL5. AL5. So also down here on the pubic tubercle, on the left or the right? On the left. On the left side. Okay. So to get into the treatment position for AL1, first we're going to establish our pain scale, find our tender point. We're going to call this a 10. Then we're going to bring our leg up on top of the table, bend their knees up, and then rest their lower leg on our knee. For AL1, we're going to stand on the same side uh, as the tender point. And we're going to rotate the pelvis towards that tender point. So the point is on the left. We're going to rotate the pelvis to the left by drawing the knees towards us. We're also going to side bend towards, so side bend to the left, by bringing the ankles closer to us. Now this motion of rotation of the pelvis to the left and side bending to the left also rotates the torso relatively to the right, which shortens the muscles that are contracted in this instance. So now that we've achieved the treatment position, we're going to compare to our original pain scale. So compared to the original 10, what is the tenderness now? A two. two. So from here, we can fine tune with a little bit of additional flexion and rotation, some side bending. And what is it now? A zero. Zero. So now we would maintain this treatment position for a total of 90 seconds. Or until we feel some kind of tissue release that indicates that the tender point has dissipated. And of course, after that 90 seconds, we would return our patient to a, a neutral position passively. So we're going to assume that we completed our 90 seconds, and then we would return our patient back to neutral, scoop our patient's knees, and then rest them down, and then we would reassess without lifting our finger off the point. Now, if we were going to instead treat AL2, we would actually stand on the opposite side of the point. So if I was going to treat the right AL2, I would find my ASIS, then I would come inferior to my AIIS, I would move medial and find the tender point. So here we go, I can use my thumb or I can use my index finger or middle finger. And similar to AL1, we're going to also have our patient lift their legs on top of our thigh. And then here, we're going to rotate the pelvis away from the tender point. So the tender point's on the right, we're rotating the pelvis to the left, which is going to relatively rotate the torso to the right, shortening the muscles that are attached. We're also going to side bend away from the point. So we're side bending to the left, the point is on the right, and flex to the appropriate level. Now that we've achieved this point, we would compare to our original pain scale, hold for 90 seconds, and then uh, return back to neutral. So if we were also going to treat AL3 and AL4, we would assume this same position. Now looking at this position and thinking back to AL1, what you'll find is that the positioning for AL1 and AL2 are the same, except that your tender point is on the opposite side for AL2 through 4, and it's on the same side for AL1. So whether you are treating AL1 or AL2, or 3 or 4, the treatment position is the same relative to you as the physician. So now moving down to AL5, 
So finding the ASI assist, moving medially, and pressing inferiorly slowly until we find the pubic tubercles and then pressing down. And you said there was some tenderness on that, this point here on the left side. So we're going to establish that as a 10. Okay. Now here, there's a slight adjustment. We're going to put our foot back on the table, lift their legs back on our leg. And from here, we're going to flex again to the appropriate level. And we're going to rotate the pelvis towards, which rotates the torso away. But we're also, in this instance, going to side bend away from the point. So side bend to the right, even though the point's on the left, which is causing a relative external rotation at the hip, which is shortening the muscles that are attaching to that superior lateral aspect of the pubic tubercle. Now, an alternate treatment position that you might find in some resources is the same frog leg position that you would find for the iliacus tender point. So this position here is an alternate position that can be used to treat anterior lumbar five point. And of course, after you treat and hold for the 90 seconds, you would slowly return back to neutral, scooping the legs, dropping gently. And then without lifting your finger off the point, you would reassess your tender point. And put your shoes back on.